Keith Guillory and Margot Fair are back on the road this morning for the RV summer road trip. And today they are traveling around Litchfield County in an RV from Lee's Auto and RV Ranch. And right now they are at the American Lock Museum in Terryville. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Aisha. Good morning, Erica. And they gave us our very own key, so we are so excited to be here. We have to be honest, though. There's an escape room, or really escape mystery house. You have to try and get out of all the different nooks and crannies here. We were not able to do it. Yeah, we've done an escape room before, but this thing is unlike any we've seen. We want to bring you over here and introduce you to Jerry Millen, who is a volunteer here with the museum. What an interesting space for folks who have never even heard of this. Bring us up to speed. Where are we? What is this all about? Obviously locks. But right. Well, <laughs> it's all about it starts with Eli Terry Jr. He was a clock maker and then a lock maker. He built the water wheel and had a clock and lock factory right down the street. And then the, that morphed into the Eagle Lock Company. And across the street, you can still see the old buildings of the Eagle Lock factory. And this was the site of the headquarters. When the Eagle Lock Company went out of business, People in town wanted to make a lock museum. Tom Hennessy was a lock collector. He donated his lock collection. He formed a museum, and this site was available. And the, the, you see what we have here today. You have so many, hundreds, probably thousands of locks all across this home. And you also have that escape room portion event, which we were talking about, where it's not really a typical escape room, as in one room or even two rooms. It's kind of all over the house. Tell folks what they can do here. Well, it's not a typical escape room in that you explore all five rooms on the second floor of the museum looking for clues to solve puzzles and riddles to open locks. Could be combination locks, key locks, antique safes, vintage safes, and you have to run around the entire second floor of the museum looking for clues. And it's very hard. It is pretty darn hard indeed. Our goal with all of this is RV trip is to expose folks to great opportunities right here in the state of Connecticut that they can explore. Why should someone give this a shot? This is the only lock museum in the country, one of only two in the entire world. Wow. It's unique to Connecticut. It's unique, Connecticut's manufacturing heritage. STEM classes come here to learn about inventions and patents. Um, it's a fantastic experience. Certainly a stop for the CT bucket list. Yeah, talk just quickly. When are you guys open? What are tickets run, people? Uh, the Lock Museum Adventure is open Fridays at 7, Saturdays 3 p.m., 6 p.m., Sundays at 3 p.m. It's $23 for adults, $15 for kids. Do you have a favorite lock? A favorite lock? The cannonball safe upstairs is the best. All right, the cannonball safe. That's where we had the Fox 61 News app this morning. <laughs> we'll have to see if we can get that out of there. All right, yeah, we need to take that home with us, but at least we've got the key. 7,000 pounds, but at least we have the key. Jerry, thank you so much for having us this morning. Yeah, we're going to give this escape experience one more try, so you want to stick around and tune in for that. But at the Lock Museum of America this morning, key in hand, I'm Keith McGilvery. I'm Margot Farrell, Fox, Fox 61, 61 News. News.